All right, we are on Suffocation Pit with the Hag. And this is a pretty good map for her because the way this map is set up is that usually four generators will be on one side while three will be on the other. And then there's like that middle area of the map where survivors have to cross over, all right? So what I'm gonna do, since we spawn on the side of the three gens, I'm gonna set up my web here because we know most likely that survivors are on the opposite side from us. So I'm gonna set up my web on this side of the map. And what you want to do is always trap strong areas where you know survivors are going to go to, like this TL wall, for example. Right here is a crossroads where survivors have to cross over to my side, so I'm going to trap there. And we do got a generator here, as well as a hook on this hill. So I'm going to put a trap here, so later on, if I do hook a survivor on that hill, any survivor that tries to come by and rescue them will get hit. So we have two traps left. I usually don't like starting chase until I have at least two left. So since we have a little time here, let's set up more traps that loops where we know survivors are going to go to. All right, so I see the Yui there. She's probably going on a gen. Let's set this trap here and we are ready to go. There's a Yui. She's going to loop here. No, she didn't. We got a smack on her. She's probably going to run in this trap, so I'm going to wait it out. Perfect. So, wow. This hook is very, very powerful because where it is located is at the back of the map. And survivors are now going to be forced to come through my web of traps. So, right now, we are in a good position. The Cheryl trigger my trap. She's running to her side. That's fine. Let's reset this. All right, Elodie. She's going to run in that trap. Nope. Let's reset this. All right. Elodie's down. Up you go. Okay. We see the tap going in for the save. He's my obsession, so if I do hit him, I'm going to get Dark Devotion value. Let's smack him. So survivors do know him here, so I can't really get much value of Dark Devotion. But we do lose our red stain, so they won't be able to really know where we are in uh, loops. Okay, let's reset this. Alright, Cheryl's down. Alright, we can see the survivors healing up here. I think that tap is trying to protect her. All right, we got a good hit on him. And Sloppy Butcher is really good right now because it is taking survivors really long to heal up. They're going to have to group up in order to heal fast. And because they are in my web, it's going to be hard for them to really get into my web without getting hit and down instantly. Okay, there's a tap. We have a trap here. Perfect. Right now we have no tear radius. So, oh, there's a notification here. They're probably healing. So right now I'm going to try and sneak up on them with Dark Devotion. Yeah, they're healing here. So I'm going to hide a bit. Come over and smack. We got him. That probably scared the crap out of Yui. Should reset that. And this is the power of dark devotion and nurses calling on hag because the fact that you could lose your terror radius and just sneak up on them is really good the hag out of all killers i think she benefits most with dark devotion her ability to juggle survivors is really good and every once in a while you're gonna hit your obsession so they're healing here sloppy's doing a fantastic job right now this is our only slowdown in this perk build all right. Here's Mr. Tap. Can we hit him here? No, nice. Let me place a trap here. I rarely ever break pallets as Hag. If they do drop pallets, I just place a trap where that pallet is, and if they vault, I'll smack them. 
Unless it's a god palette, I really just leave it alone. They're healing here. Up you go. Scratch marks here running in here. He has iron will. Nice. He flashlighted my trap. Smart. So they're killing their self on hook. They're giving up. And this is what happens when you play your cards right with Hag. We got him. Up you go. So if he is on comms with his friends. Because he didn't see me place a trap there on the hill that I placed earlier. If that uh, Cheryl goes in for the save, she's most likely going to get hit. But here's a Cheryl. We have a trap somewhere around here. Let's place a trap here and force her to move. Oh, that tap had deliverance, I think. Or did he? Yeah, he Colby. Wow. Yeah, she's dead. So he's probably going to find Hatch. Yep, he found Hatch. So this is the power of this build, and I really like it. Sloppy Butcher being able to slow down the healing of survivors. When survivors heal up, you'll have nurses calling, so you'll know exactly where they are. And if you hit your obsession with Dark Devotion, you'll be able to sneak upon those survivors when you see them with nurses calling. So this build does synergize quite well. I hope you guys found this video informative. I will see you guys in the next one.